good morning today is tuesday welcome back to a new vlog how are you doing i'm not with it this morning <laughs> i got in from a work dinner at one o'clock last night i was up at seven this morning as per which i know for some people is like a full night's sleep i'm very aware of that you don't need to tell me twice i am foggy this morning really really foggy so we are making it through i'm actually on my way back up i've literally just come back from london <laughs> less than 12 hours ago i'm on my way back up to london in a few hours i'm going to get my hair sorted before i go so i'm literally just about to head out to that i'm actually going to take you with me but i'm not talking you through what i'm having done today because i'm going to do a full like what i get done vlog so we're going to be talking like nails hair face literally everything <laughs> i'm trying to think of what else there is but yeah so that vlog is going to be coming i'm just wait oh teeth is the other thing i'm waiting for my teeth to be finished so that i can fully talk you through the process and give like my full opinion on the process but yeah today i'm just going for a toner because i tend to get a little bit red which is very normal my hair has always always done this it does it whether i have dye on it whether i don't have dye on it my actual like natural brown hair just does go like this very orangey red color which i used to hate but now i've just i've come to accept it i'm actually getting my makeup done tonight by the tom ford team so i have a light base on i'm probably gonna do my base before i go but they're gonna do like eyes cheeks lips the whole thing anyway i feel like i'm spoiling what i'm up to already but yeah basically after i get my hair done we are on our way to london and i'm so excited to spend a few days up there i've got some really really lovely plans I can't wait. This is my little outfit of the morning. I'm going to change, obviously, when I get up to London, but this is just super comfy for getting up to the hairdressers and getting on the train to London in. So I've got my Topshop oversized black sweatshirt, which I just live in, some Varley leggings, and then a little black Converse, because these are just super, super comfortable. And I wanted to be wearing a trainer that I will also wear when I'm up in London, and I generally tend to enjoy wearing these quite a lot. So yeah, that is what we've gone with. And then for jewelry, I haven't got any earrings in yet, but I actually need to pack earrings because that would be a big mistake. But then I've got my normal everyday kind of jewelry that I wear at the moment on. So I've got a Monica Vinader necklace, which I just love. I'm obsessed with wearing this. And then I've got my Majuri and local eclectic rings. I'll link them all. And then on my lips, I have Charlotte Tilbury JK, what is the JK Magic lipstick, which is my favorite, like if I'm doing like a neutral, makeup look also wearing a rare beauty blush today which is like a real neutral like pinky tone you can see i've got it on my nose as well just to give you an idea of the color and i really really like it it's a different one to the one i can't remember if you've seen it i might have seen it on my stories i've been using quite a bright one recently i went to a rare beauty dinner last night and they gifted me like this really lovely light pinky one it's very like neutral almost not their blush and i love it this is it if anyone was wondering it's in the shade bliss it's so so nice Some of you may have seen this one before if you've watched my date night outfits video. I've got a Zara coat on. Actually, most of this outfit is Zara. The jacket, top, trousers are all Zara. I've then got a little Tom Ford bag on. I'm going for dinner with them tonight and they're very kindly doing my makeup before dinner. So that's why I'm wearing like quite minimal makeup today. And then I'm wearing Topshop heels. These are some old strappy ones I have, but they're really great. And then my hair is just super, super swishy. We curled it earlier after doing a bouncy blow dry so that it would hold and I've just brushed it out now that I have got to London. So it's like proper bouncy and I love it. And then I'm wearing my little bendy earrings and just keeping it really minimal in terms of jewelry, just wearing the same as this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm absolutely starving. I'm actually just eating some M&S apple slices before I pass out. The lighting in here is so good. So I've just had this amazing smoky eye done. What do we think? I think I need to start doing a smoky eye like this a bit more. It's amazing.
good morning everybody so i had a lovely dinner out last night i went to sushi samba the golden rule applies if you see me out and i've had a few drinks i'm eating sushi mind your business it was delicious it's my favorite restaurant my absolute favorite i can't recommend it enough if you come to london especially if you're staying in Covent garden but yeah it was really lovely to catch up with the tom ford team and the killian team i actually have quite a few bits that they have very kindly sent me away with firstly we have this killian fragrance which is called moonlight in heaven it is delicious it's like a real a bit of a unisex fragrance but oh my god it is incredible i'm really obsessed with it i think that's going to be what i wear today and then i have a lot of tom ford bits but i actually had my makeup done last night as you would have seen in the tom ford store in covent garden their team are lovely like so so genuinely lovely and they use this lip combo on me which i've done today so i'm making the camera shake so it is the lip sculptor in 04 extort and then sable smoke which was actually an old favorite of mine it's been discontinued but now it is back and it is like the best nicest nude if you don't like a liquid lipstick but you want like a regular lipstick in the same color that i have my anastasia beverly hills lipstick this is like the same color it's gorgeous so I'm really excited that it's back yeah i've just done my makeup as you will have seen by the very very long montage I have a coffee still in that phase where my brain is a little bit foggy this morning I had a little bit of champagne last night and i also went out on monday i don't know if i told you guys yesterday did i tell them yeah oh i did lauren's in the back lauren's somewhere <laughs> back there <laughs> are we putting in the footage should we do that now yeah we'll do that now it's just a little bit. So we're just insane now. We can insert it whilst I'm talking. But yeah, Monday night I had the Space NK dinner, which was so lovely to celebrate the launch of Rare Beauty, which I feel like you guys will have seen. I have been loving lately. So yeah, I used the blush again this morning and I just love it. Absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, I talked you through that yesterday, but I'm going to bring you along with us today. So we're on day two or I don't even know what day it is in London anymore. I've been up here a lot this week. We're going to have a lunch with my managers at some point in the afternoon. I can't remember the timings. And hopefully we're going to get a little bit of shopping in. It's a pair of boots I want to hunt down. I almost got them on Farfetch and then someone else got them at the same time as me. Got a refund an hour later. Savage. But yeah, it's going to be a good day. So I'll bring you guys along with me. We are staying in the Me Hotel. As always, this is not like a gifted experience or anything like that. I just love this hotel. Also, how well did my blow dry hold up from yesterday? So I don't know if I told... Yeah, you would have seen. I had my hair done yesterday. Yeah, just a toner. And I'm so happy with the colour. I always love it. Once it's been freshly toned, if I could afford to, I would have it done every like couple of weeks because it always looks its best post toner. But the blow dry has held up so well. So I haven't actually had to do it this morning, which is amazing. But yeah, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to finish my coffee. This is a oat milk mocha with caramel syrup. Literally the sweetest thing ever. I really went to town this morning. I don't know if I regret it slightly, to be honest. So this is this morning's outfit. The shoes are not staying. I actually have my boots packed in a bag, but I'm walking to lunch. So I really didn't want to end up getting blisters. So I've just got my Converse on. But to start from the top, I've got my YSL Sunnies, which are just my favorite. The light in here is not ideal. Let's fix that. YSL Sunnies, ASOS scarf. I've got just a plain black body on underneath from Pretty Little Thing. My blazer is from Zara. It's like this really cute grey blazer. And then I've got River Island jeans on. My Converse and then the boots that I will change into are from Topshop. And then I've got my Chanel 19. Oh and my earrings are from Fendi. I've got the same rings on as always. And then I've got my little, where is it? Where has it gone? My little Monica Veneta circle necklace. On as well. I'm also wearing this fragrance today, which is uh, like, I think it's actually going to be a new favorite. It's got like coconut notes in it. So it basically smells like a winter version of Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think it must have like cedar wood or something in it because it's a little bit more grassy and woody than Bronze Goddess. But oh my God, this is incredible. So this is going in my bag. You're just sanitizing <laughs> your pants. <laughs> I'm actually creaming them. <laughs> Sorry, sanitizing your hands is much more on brand for you the past two years. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> mm. Okay. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm having no luck on the shoe front. Very sad. So, as 
you may be able to see from the situation behind me, I have secured the boots. I didn't think it was going to happen, but I decided to take a chance on the Bond Street Jimmy Choo because I always have very good luck on Bond Street and my run of good luck continues. Now I'm actually getting ready for dinner. My dinner plans, my original dinner plans have been cancelled due to illness which is very very sad but I'm going for Mexican, more Mexican with some friends. I've already eaten so much I don't know how I'm gonna fit any more in. Hello! <laughs> Okay, a little outfit of the evening. I'm wearing my Zara. Really structured shoulder, a black coat, black ASOS scarf. I've got a black cutout top, which you will have just seen when I was sitting down. From Zara on, I've got the same River Island black skinnies, and then my Topshop boots. And then, probably the first time you will have seen me wear this out, but I've got my little Chanel Coco top handle bag on as well, which sits so perfectly crossbody. I absolutely love it, but it's really nice if I want to hold it as well. Really, really love this bag so far, and I love the way it really complements an all black outfit, but without being all black. And the silver hardware just really casuals it down as well. It's really lovely. And I've also swapped my earrings out. I'm wearing some Misoma hoops. These are the disco hoops, and I really love them. Lauren's just informed me that I said Misoma. Every time. Every time. Monica Benita. Monica Benita. Disco hoops. slight state if you catch little glimpses of it i've just been filming a reel and nala's been jumping around on the sofa cushions as per usual you just can't stand them being neat and tidy can you oh no oh no also can you believe this is my original blow dry from tuesday i'm so so impressed i've been using a new mousse and i did take it to the hairdressers with me because I kind of feel like it's doing really, really good things for me. I took my normal heat protectant and my normal mousse just because I really had to have my hair behaving the way it normally does. But oh my God, between that mousse and my hairdresser's standard of blow drying, because I can blow dry, I can do a bouncy blow dry, but it's not, it's nowhere near on her level. She is just incredible. And it has lasted so well. I haven't even like been putting it in rollers in the morning, which I would normally do to like reset it because my hair is very malleable and it will kind of like stay how you put it. Yeah, super impressed. Very, very happy. My hair has been so low maintenance this week and we're now coming up to hair wash day, I think today or tomorrow. So yeah, I'm chuffed to bits. But yeah, I've just filmed a makeup tutorial. So if my makeup actually looks a little bit wild, it's because basically I film, well, it's a reel, not a full like YouTube tutorial. I'm actually really enjoying doing like makeup reels and filming them and making them look really pretty. Feels like I'm coming home to like what I used to do on YouTube, but now no longer has a place because sadly they just don't get the engagement and then it like ranks me down and it's heartbreaking, but it'd be like that sometimes. So I'm putting them on Instagram and I'm really, really enjoying it. Like I love making like pretty aesthetic-y makeup videos, like all slow mo -y. But yeah, anyway, I do the overall like makeup look. And then sometimes when I'm doing the thumbnail, I'm like, oh, that point would have been a really good point to have got a thumbnail, but I didn't get that. So I go back and do it. So I'm wearing about six layers of blush. You'll see it coming up on my Instagram soon. So yeah, if you like this look, it will be up. I think very, very soon because I'll probably edit it this weekend because I'm really, really buzzing to get this one up. It's basically the makeup look that I have been wearing the majority of this week and I'm just absolutely loving it. So that's what I've been up to this morning, really putting off what I actually needed to do on my to-do list and I've got about 20 minutes to do what I was actually meant to be doing this morning. Also, you'll obviously see it in the reel, but we need to take a little moment for this Tom Ford foundation. It's so good. So good. I'm really enjoying it. I've just chipped it annoyingly at the top, which is really annoying. Yes, the traceless foundation stick. Ignore the fact that my hands are super shaky. I'm literally about to have my lunch. But yeah, it's so lovely. It, like glides on. It's really beautiful. I am shade six. And yeah, just absolutely 
love it it's like a solid medium coverage i would say i still put concealer on underneath my eyes and then just over these blemishes because they're obviously so dark but normal blemishes it covers really nicely and it's very very glowy which i love i have got some things to show you from my trip to london you know what i really want to switch up the colors in my living room i switched the blankets and cushions out for something a little bit more like dusky or like softer bit warmer do we think i'll get away with that with ryan moving in really love like a maybe like a dusky pink and like brownie toned little throw with like some cushions that match is that gonna be too girly and am i gonna get away with that what do we think not that i can afford to be switching up my house because uh i just bought some shoes and i'm meant to be saving for the garage conversion but let's just ignore that being slightly over ambitious but anyway i got gifted some lovely little bits from tom ford i got gifted a lot of lovely bits from tom ford and lots of you on instagram who already asked me to like give you a full run through there were so many pieces though i haven't had a chance to try them all out yet this bit of hair is just why why are you being like that don't do it like i'm just gonna sit like this for like 15 minutes it's really annoying me i'm gonna try the bits out and talk to you about the much like the tom ford foundation as you know i love the is it sable smoke lipstick yeah Sable Smoke number 14. It's incredible. I really like the lip liner that they used on me with it as well. So I've tried those bits out so far. I'm really loving them. And the eyeshadow palette I just used was really nice as well. But I kind of want to try the rest out for a little bit longer before I kind of like shout about the whole lot. They've gifted me another bitter peach, which I'm so happy about because I love this. If you want to smell like an expensive version of Lush Snow Fairy, which I know sounds very contradictory, those two things sound like they should not be able to exist together. This, this is gorgeous, really fruity, really like vanilla -y sweet so so gorgeous i love it it's a really nice like spring summer fragrance i particularly love it in the summer but more importantly or maybe not so importantly depends on if you're a candle person but for me i'm a real candle person tom ford they do a lot of their fragrance scents in candles like fabulous rose what is it rose oud oh. No, what is it called? Rose Prick. <laughs> There's another one as well. They do those in candles, which is honestly insane. But they now do Bitter Peach in a candle. I am so excited about that. Oh, I, d I wanted to like hand it to you to smell. <laughs> Why? What is wrong with my brain? It is just stunning. This is going to be like my summer candle. It's so like peachy, citrusy vanilla -y sweet just really really gorgeous very strong if you are normally a white company kind of girl you're probably not gonna love it but if you're a fan of some of my like zara fragrance recommendations from the home line you'll probably love that if you're a yankee candle fan you'll definitely love that because the yankee candle just do some really like strong fruity scents so yeah i have a feeling it's gonna be very strong which is great because i have quite like sizable rooms so for me when i have a strong smelling candle it actually is really beneficial to me i end up going through the candles less quickly which is great it means better value for money so yeah very happy to have a restock of the bit of peach fragrance and i'm so excited for this i'm saving it I'm saving it for late spring summer and then you guys i was so excited about this i actually had these shoes come in stock on farfetch in my size i was like this is fate bought them got a refund notification about an hour later because someone else had clearly beat me to it at like the exact same time and been like a fraction of a second faster i really feel like i should have been a personal shopper love hunting for sold out things basically so can we just all take a moment for like the jimmy choo packaging their like branding that kind of like background is everything in that i've never actually been into a jimmy choo store before and i was like oh my god the wallpaper is like this exact i don't know what came first the branding or the wallpaper i'm assuming the wallpaper and then they put it on the branding if i have a dressing room i want this on the walls it is so gorgeous and the store on bond street or is it new bond street i can't remember it's so so beautiful i just really enjoyed the whole experience the staff is so nice so so nice whoa <laughs> they are so cool you all know how i feel about a sock boot and then i saw my friend victoria from in the pro lots of you know her she has these and i saw them and i was like i am gonna need those in my life they are stunning <laughs> And I really like the fact that they actually do this flesh tone. They do it in a darker tone as well. So there isn't just one shade of nude mesh, if that makes sense. They also do them in like a bright lime green, which if I was like fashion, 
like Leonie Han like fashion if you don't follow her she is just like Instagram goals. If I was like more fashion, the green would be so fun, but obviously I am down for like wearable, wearing on repeat, wearing multiple times, wearing until I have to repair, wearing until you can't repair it anymore kind of vibes. So I'm so excited to be adding these to my shoe collection. I love a sock boot. I love a statement sock boot. Those of you that have watched me for years will know I still have a pair of like glitter sock boots that I bought in like 2016 and I still love them so much, but obviously I only really wear them around Christmas or a very like particular occasion like a real event whereas these i could get a lot more wear out of on an evening basis i would say throughout the year i actually ended up getting them in a size five and a half and normally a five but they only had the five and a half it was that or seven i think that was all they had left i am literally over the moon over the moon i do have to say it feels really weird talking about luxury shoes with everything that's going on in the world right now i just want to take a moment for that because it's like been really playing on my mind i didn't really vlog a lot yesterday and obviously i was coming back from london and we were listening to the radio on the way back and it was very very overwhelming just listening to people's like stories of what is going on with ukraine at the moment and listening to everyone's like distress phone calls it was really really sad and yeah i just want to take a moment for that and send a lot of love to anyone that is affected in any way by what is going on at the moment it makes me so sad and i feel really like i feel like we just jumped dramatically but yeah i didn't want to go through this whole vlog like i'm sitting here like, looking at my shoes like i'm so happy about my shoes but i'm also just feeling like so i almost feel guilty talking about my shoes because there is so much going on in the world at the moment if that makes sense and more is something that growing up we were taught about in history lessons and it had never especially for those of us in the uk had never really it affected our grandparents but we almost grew up like it was done it was gone that was never going to happen again which is obviously very naive but then growing up i actually met people who were my age and were affected by wars that we weren't even taught about and she told me stories that i just feel like no human should ever have to live through and it's just so sad and heartbreaking and the fact that it obviously has happened time and time again over the past few years is so sad and it's now happening once again. And this is why normally I get a lot of stick for not saying anything because I just don't feel like there are the words to describe how I feel about what is going on in the world right now. It's just so heartbreaking. And yeah, I don't really know what my point in this was other than the fact that I'm like very aware that I'm talking about pretty shoes when there is so much going on in the world. So this might feel to some like a really weird, dramatic, segue but yeah i just wanted to take a moment for that and not go through this entire lovely vlog of a really nice week that i have had and just kind of completely gloss over and yeah i also don't know how to segue out of this section either but yeah i hope you guys are all doing okay and just sending lots of love to everyone Trimpy. Trimpy. you're so cute look at you do you know what you look like? She's so beautiful. The new trainers are going out for a walk. So it's Nala. The sun is out. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So a hair mask tub does work as a tripod. Fantastic. I just got back from the walk with little Shrimparella. She hated every second of it. I really thought half term was done. I really thought it was because I swear it's been going on for about three weeks now. I actually can't keep up with all of the different schools and then you throw in private schools and there is just always a half term. So yeah, Nala's not the biggest fan of scooters, prams, children screaming. So I thought that a two o'clock walk would be a fantastic choice because that's school time was not there were so many children yeah i'm gonna take my makeup off as much as i love it i need to give my skin time to breathe because i am like blackhead central at the moment it's just been way too much makeup on my face for way too long at the moment so i'm gonna get my makeup off I'm gonna edit some reels I'm gonna order a chinese and we're all gonna ignore the fact that the chinese probably isn't vegan but screw it Is a winner. Morning, everybody. Oh, my voice went then. 
I've just finished filming a makeup reel for this lovely skin look. Do I wish I hadn't had Chinese last night and made my face puffy as hell? Yes. Did I film it anyway? Also yes, because I just really wanted to film today whilst the light was pretty. Yeah, I didn't end this vlog last night because I fell asleep on the sofa watching Game of Thrones at like two in the morning. Well, Friday night in for me. And today, obviously I've just filmed and now I am mustering up the courage. There's always that one bit of hair, isn't there? Wow, it's lots of bits of hair. I need to get a hair mask on this ASAP. I'm mustering up the courage to do the hair mask, do the hair wash, clean the house. Like I like to do it just all at the same time, but it does mean that I mentally make it a really big all in one task. So I'm kind of like sitting here mustering up the courage. We could be here a while. Princess is over here having a little groom, looking cute as ever. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well and you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you again in my next one. Love you, bye.